Montana Jubilee's path started in Booty, Montana in 1990. Bred by Sue Anderson, the chestnut scion was a supreme creation and out of Mortana Lila. Sue followed his career and made sure to stay up to date on his accomplishments and stay in touch. She was very glad she chose for him to end up with Deborah McGonagall, who purchased him as an unbroke breeding stallion. When Montana Jubilee was younger, he was described as quite the man and always made sure everyone knew how awesome he was. Deborah fondly remembers Montana Jubilee making his show ring debut. After just 42 days of training, we took him to a recognized dressage show. While walking to the show ring, the stallion made his presence known by spending much of the walk on his hind legs, calling out to all the horses that watched him pass. When they got to the arena, he finally stood on all four legs. The judge rang the bell for the pair to enter, and Montana Jubilee performed the very first class in a super workmanlike performance. However, right before he finished, by coming down center line and saluting the judge, a horse in the warm-up led a loud winning, and Montana Jubilee finished his center line with his best high-ho silver impression. He did manage to come down from his antics into a perfect square halt. Montana Jubilee placed second in a large class of warm bloods with a score of 64% and was the smallest horse in the entire show. Deborah says showing Montana Jubilee was always very exciting. He competed up to pre-St. George level of dressage and won world titles in classic dressage and western dressage at Grand National, as well as the National Dressage Pony Cup. He rose to the challenges of FEI level dressage competition and enjoyed the journey along the way. FEI is the international level of competition which requires precise training for lateral movements, pirouettes, and lead changes. When people would see Montana Jubilee competing, they would be amazed at how talented and kind the stallion was. People were drawn to the kindness of the Morgan horse, and as a result, many of Deborah's clients and friends purchased Morgans. He was the ultimate schoolmaster lesson horse for students to learn the advanced movements of dressage. He loved teaching riders of all ages, and had a personality for teaching them to be patient. He was very loving and showed his love of crossing his front legs while grooming him, which was referred to him as him giving a hug. He would come when called by name and never pass up any sort of peppermint. Deborah says, My favorite memory is of the quiet times when it was just me and him on a trail ride after show season was over. Montana Jubilee and I would quietly on loose reins go cross country, and he would listen to me having a chat about anything with him. Montana Jubilee only did live cover breeding, so he has a limited number of offspring. Most of them were mayors, so Deborah kept several as brood mayors. Montana Jubilee passed away last year at the grand age of 31, after a career that spanned 21 years. Thank you to this wonderful horse for being an ambassador of kindness, trainability, and beauty that the Morgan is known for. We are honored to induct him into AMHA's Show Horse Hall of Fame.